Good evening, a warm welcome to Singapore Tonight. I'm Dawn Tan. Australian students are being encouraged to include study or internships in Singapore as part of their university degrees. It's part of their new Colombo plan to get Australian students to know more about countries across Asia, the Indian subcontinent and the Asia, uh, rather the Pacific Ocean. Now the plan builds on a similar program from the, from the 1950s when students from Southeast Asia went to Australia to study. The new plan hopes to encourage movement of students in the opposite direction towards Asia. Professor Ava Lenonen, she's Vice Chancellor of Murdoch University in Western Australia, is here in studio to tell us more. She's part of the delegation travelling to Singapore with Foreign Minister Bishop. Welcome to the studio, Professor. Thank you very much indeed. Pleasure to be here. Welcome. It's, a good to, it's good to see you and chat to you about this because the new Colombo plan is a very exciting one. Share with us something about what sparked this initiative. As you already said, that there has been a, a lot of movement of uh, students between Australia and Asian countries. And for many years, Asian students have been particularly keen to go to Australia. And the new Colombo plan is there to encourage Australian students to go to Asian countries. So it's a reverse of, of that particular movement. And I have to say that it is really building on what is important, what is important for personal growth. And I also believe that, as you know, the students of today are the leaders of tomorrow. And a greater cultural understanding, uh, communication with each other, networking, and just understanding and sharing innovation and ideas between different countries is really good for all of our futures. And let's talk about the diversity of those countries because the plan really does cover quite a wide yes. region. So tell us something about you know, the countries that are under yes. this plan. And there are all over 40 different locations that are included in the plan. And that just shows how Australian youngsters are able to have very diverse cultural experiences. And that is really what underpins, underpins the whole plan. And if you think about um, when you are in a very different context, when you're really out of your comfort zone, when you're really maybe around languages you don't understand, when you are in a location which you have no friends or connections, that really in enables your personal growth. And I'm a great believer that the student mobility programs are very much about not just academic learning, but also personal growth. And I recently learned how the Minister for Education in Singapore talked about that academic excellence and achievement is not everything we should aim for, but learning should be much more holistic. And this resonates very much with my university, Murdoch University, where we really believe in this holistic approach to education and student mobility is part of that. I like what you say about this, uh, this idea of stretching one's yes. you know, thoughts yes. and ideas. You know, nothing better than being thrown in the deep, deep yes. end sometimes uh, to, to teach us you know, very quickly what yes. we need to know. Absolutely. In terms of relevance uh, to these regions, um, uh, you know, what do you think this, the students are going to bring from that? I think um, Australia particularly has realised uh, a little while ago that, you know, we are in this very diverse neighbourhood. Uh, you know, Asia is our backyard and, and we are their backyard and we need to really connect and through that diversity our students can gain something that they would never gain if they were alone in Australia. Prof, you're one of the advocates of this initiative for Murdoch, encouraging stu students from Murdoch to really come to yeah. Singapore, take internships and so on and study here. So why Singapore? Well, Singapore is very close to Murdoch University's heart. We, ha we have been here since 2008. We have 6,000 students studying here. We have currently 300 students studying at our campus in Perth. We have 15,000 alumni here. So Singapore is in the same time zone as we are as well in Perth. So it's very much synergies there. But also when I think about um, Singapore and I listen to what our students say, so when they come back, they say wonderful things about Singapore. They talk about the entrepreneurial and, and innovation attitude, the can-do attitude. They talk about the diversity here. They talk about how different cultures blend and live in harmony and the learnings they take from that. And they also talk very warmly about Singaporean people 
how they invite them to their homes, how they really look at their cultural elements and enable them to experience something they never experienced before. And they always tell me about how well they are fed in their Singaporean homes. Of course, we know, we know, we know food Food well. is important, <laughs> yes. Prof, thank you so much for coming into the studio to thank share you. that with me and all the best with this initiative, with this wonderful plan. We've been speaking there to Professor Ava Linolan from, uh, from the University of Murdoch in Western Australia.